Kate DiCamillo by Leo Buendrostro. Kate DiCamillo, also known as Katrina Elizabeth, was born on March 25, 1964, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here you can see Kate as a four-year-old girl, and she was already starting her illustrious career. As a young girl, Kate suffered from chronic pneumonia. So at the age of five, her mother and brother, Kurt, moved to Clermont, Florida because of the warmer climate. Kate would continue her education here and graduated from the University of Florida in 1987 with an English degree. At the age of 30, she moved to Minneapolis, Minnesota and began to work at a book warehouse. The job gave her inspiration to write for children. Kate's media is mainly fiction and for some unknown reason, almost all of her stories deal with animals and their adventures. Kate's first novel was Because of Win Dixie. This story is about a young girl named Opal who moves to Naomi, Florida with her father, a preacher. She goes to the supermarket named Win Dixie and comes out with a big ugly dog. Opal has a hard time making friends, but with the dog, who she named Win Dixie, she meets some very interesting people. In 2003, she published her third novel, The Tale of Despero, which she won a Newbery Medal for. Despero Tilling is a mouse who was born in a castle on an April morning and was the only one to survive from his litter. His mother named him Despero because of all the sadness and despair. He is born with ears too big and his eyes open. His parents believe that he is sure to die. But he lives, and what a life he lives. He can hear things that no one else can hear and is able to read. One day he stumbles upon King Philip and his daughter, Princess P. Despero eventually finds himself talking with the princess and falls in love with her. He is drawn by the music that the king plays for his daughter. Though Despero is the main character of this story, it is also about a rat named Roscuro who lives in the deep downs. He has a growing obsession for light and soup. Another story within this book is about Migori So, a girl who was sold by her father after her mom dies. She was sold for a handful of cigarettes, a red tablecloth, and a hen. She is bought by a man who demands to be called uncle. She only has one impossible wish to become a princess. In the end, Despero does not get to marry the princess, but they remain friends. Roscuro is allowed out of the deep downs, but feels out of place. And Mig does not become a princess, but is reunited with her father, and he finally treats her as a daughter. Kate won some notable awards during her short career, some of which include Newbery Award Medal for the Tale of Despero in 2004. She also received the Newbery Honor Medal for Because of Win Dixie in 2001. In 2006, she was awarded the Boston Globe Horn Book Award for the Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. And in 2007, she won the Theodore Seuss Geisel Honor for Watson Goes for a Ride. This was just one of her books from her Watson series. Aside from early chapter books, she also writes picture books and most popular for her novels, which include The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, The Tiger Rising, and most recent, The Magician's Elephant. A couple of Dick Camillo's books have made it to the big screen. The Tale of Despero was released by Universal Pictures on December 19, 2008, and Because of When Dixie was released as a film by 20th Century Fox in 2005. New Line Cinema is in pre-production for The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane and 20th Century Fox is adapting The Magician's Elephant into a film. In the words of Kate DiCamillo, if you want to be a writer, write a little bit every day. Pay attention to the world around you. Stories are hiding, waiting everywhere. You just have to open your eyes and your heart. Thank you.